Hey, good afternoon. Zero gravity here. I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, today I want to touch some very important topic. A lot of you asked me about how do I build split and how, uh, what kind of tips can I give to people so they can be the, uh, build their own split. We are talking about training split, of course. And today I would like to deliver to you my vision and simplify the strategy of building split for you. Uh, I'll start with that, that, you know, splits can be different. A lot of people consider split as seven day period time, which is week. You know, how many days a week do you train? How many times, how many muscle groups? You always hear uh, that type of questions. But split is not limited to week, it's not limited to 10 days. Depending on your goals, depending on how, uh, how professional you are, you can make a split uh, last different amount of time. It could be week, it could be 10 days, it could be 14 days, it could be two weeks, month and up to whatever it is there. So do not limit your split to just a week, okay? But to start with some kind of starting point, you know, I'm gonna actually uh, set a first split example for you as four, uh, seven days, okay? So I hope you see me well here because I don't really have the good equipment, lightning, I do what I can, and eventually we will have all that too. Anyways, so it's gonna be a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I hope you all understand that too. So, we have to take the example of beginner uh, first. Uh, why beginner? Because from that example, we can already upgrade, upgrade and look at other types of split. But we have to start with basics. So, if the person you know, without any health issues, just came to the gym or training area, doesn't matter, <clears throat> focused on uh, increasing the strength, increasing the muscle mass, definition, and all of those aspects. So he is willing to train probably three times a week, all right? So three times a week. This is going to be Monday training. There's going to be Wednesday probably training. And that's going to be a Friday training. All right. So this is what you usually see. What is the practical goal to accomplish in all of these three days of training? Well, the important part is to give an impulse on all of the muscle groups that you have in the body. All right. We don't want to forget about any single muscle group that's why we're considering that all muscle groups have to be trained all right so why did i put it this way as an example i mean monday then day rest then wednesday then day rest friday i guess for practical reasons because we usually look at the weekday as our training schedule too we need because we only have three workouts so we need to do a rest after each workout we don't want to pack them all together and then rest for four days whatever right that's why i split them it's monday it's wednesday it's friday <coughs> uh, next so usually usually so how many major muscle groups we have let's count okay it's chest it's biceps it's triceps it's back it's shoulders it's legs, all right? Abs, but abs I wouldn't separate from other training because abs is, you know, you can train abs in any type of workout, just combine. So we have six, six muscles that we have to train. So usually what people do, they, so you have a choice basically. It's either make each of these days functional, full body, or separate muscle groups in any of in each of those days i'll just give you an example about simple muscle muscle group uh, separation so what is important is that we need to 
we need to uh, sorry i forgot the word we need to separate the pushing movements exercises pulling exercises and legs so pushing exercises you know sorry my writing is like a chicken with a feet but i hope you all understand pushing exercises pulling exercises and legs all right legs also are pushing exercises obviously right because you push yourself but because it's separated from other body parts so then it doesn't interrupt any other pushing exercises simply to be said you can do pushing exercises today and do pushing leg exercises tomorrow because your upper body and legs are only so much connected in this movement okay so usually and then you have a choice you can combine simply pushing exercises here so workout of pushing exercises you know here you can do pulling exercises workout you know uh, workout and here you can do legs you see so this is the simplest way to combine it we see okay what are you doing today bro chest triceps okay pushing triceps you can simply add some shoulder presses here i'm giving an example from the gym you know because i guess it's easy for you to understand then I'll describe my own uh, training and all that. It takes time. So then in pulling exercise, what are you doing, bro? You know, I'm doing rows. I'm doing maybe pull-ups, deadlifts, biceps. It's all pulling exercises. See the difference? Pull, push, okay? And what are you doing on the leg day? I, on the leg day, I do legs, okay? Maybe some deadlifts, but again, it's just an additional two legs. The goal is leg, okay? So here we have the whole split that people can bring it to a uh, seven day period all right and of course they so now uh how they build each workout so each workout each of these workouts has to be combined out of certain exercises so simplest way is to uh, to understand that workout has to be built of two 1-2, 1-3, let's say for the beginner, basic exercises for the muscle group that, for the muscle group that is in the goal. Let's, let me give you an example. All right. I'll give you an example in the gym and outside the gym. So let's say in the gym. So you do chest and triceps. So you need to consider one basic exercise that is focused majorly on chest muscles and one basic exercise that focused on the triceps, all right? So let's say bench press, dumbbells, barbells or anything. Maybe incline bench press, okay, two basic exercises and maybe dips for triceps. Here you are. So basic exercises is something that are the most important part of each training. Or, or everything is important, warm up is important, everything. But exercise wise the basic exercises is what training is built of so simply to be said if you did basic three exercises even two or even one you can forget about other exercises you will still benefit all right so and everything else so other additional exercises depends on your enthusiasm depends on your time variety knowledge experience go around that okay so two or one dash three basic exercises and here god knows maybe up from one dash five or more less or more exercise additional that means they're not important as the basic exercises if you put an effort here you will fail the workout because you won't have strength on basic exercises and that happens also if you do to put too many basic exercises. You do dips, then bench press, then incline, then this and that, hammer machine, flies on top, all till failure. You do too much, okay? So there's only so much needed because the effort you will put in three exercises is more important that you that, than you will split this effort for 
four, five, six basic exercises, okay? You want to tighten up your workout. What I wanted to say. Now, example on the calisthenics. You say same. Dips, basic exercises. Push-up could be basic exercises. Let's say if you're advanced level, then your basic exercise would be past push-ups, some difficult versions of push-ups. If you're a beginner, just regular push-ups could be your... Uh, uh, great basic exercise, all right? So now, same strategy we apply to pulling exercise. Okay, pull, what there could be? All right, calisthenics is pull up, chin up, okay? And everything else goes around that. So pull up, chin up, most important. And the rest, all those rows, all this, this and that, resistance band, doesn't matter. So as long as your basic exercises are there in part of training. In the gym, it would be row, of course, deadlift, you know, different type of stuff like that uh, then whew, so then in the legs of course is squat different type of movements those are considered as basic exercises all right who so that's the basic split okay here you have time from let's say 45 min to let's say hour and a half you know who knows let's say hour hour and a half whatever uh, anyways, so you, you know what I'm saying, right? So each of this workout can take for, from 45 minutes to like 90 minutes and it will be complete split. So as long as you follow this type of split, as you are a beginner, you know, you will succeed. What's important, my friend, is consistency. So this is your basic, 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 basic consistency. All right. So remember, and you can't put uh, pulling, pulling exercises two days in a row because you will, they will conflict. So you can't do just, let's say, triceps and uh, chest and then do shoulder presses. It's going to be, you will do it for sure, but it's not going to be efficient. So that's why the combination of each of these um, workouts helps you to not, in, not make them interrupt with each other. And at the same time, be able to perform your peak performance in those basic exercises. Because you pushed here, here you're already pulling. For this, you're doing legs. And for repeat, you recover, okay? I hope you understand. So now we're going to look at it in a different perspective. And I will show you how I build that. So my split would be... So currently, currently, I look at my split as each week new stuff. What I, what aspects, what types of training I do. So I do include in my split. So type of training, number one, functional. Number two, strength training. Number three, cardiovascular. Number four, mental challenge. So functional training, of course, it's the priority. I want to be functional. I want to be functional human being. I want to be healthy, strong human being like real ancestors, the ones who survived the strength training. I want to increase the strength in my basic exercises, the ones that are most important, you know, because I do body weight. Uh, it's, you know, dips, pull-ups, push-ups and stuff like that. Weight on kettlebells too. So cardiovascular. Cardiovascular is when I my heart rate reaches some high level. You know, I bring myself to some kind of exhaustion, but I achieve the cardiovascular goal and, you know, it's uh, it's uh, blends in with the other type of training. And the mental challenges, you know, like thousand burpees, like all those challenges on speed, they collect all the different type of aspects because, again, priority is mental toughness, uh, overcoming the fatigue, you know, and the rest comes after. So each of these workouts, can have a combination. This can include this. This can include this. All of these aspects can be included. 
the workout can include all of that. So basically the workouts, the workout goals could be different, could be just functional, could be just strength, could be just cardiovascular, could be just mental challenge. For example, functional training, everything that you see when I include the whole body. Strength workout is when I do the least amount of repetitions, high intensity, heavy stuff. So cardiovascular, it's of course separate jump rope or leg workouts, but leg workouts would be of course functional and cardiovascular and sometimes mental. So now, not to take too much time. So muscle groups, okay? So all of these muscle groups, for me, it's important each training to prioritize. So I train five times a week, okay? So I train Monday. Well, I start with Sunday. Yeah, I start with Sunday, actually. Here I train, here I train, here, and I finish on Thursday, and here I have rest, okay? So, uh, talking about this, this is very important. <clears throat> so in each of the workouts, goal number one, my goal number one is include each muscle group in each workout. No, no sorry, not in each workout, include each muscle group, group, whatever. So that means I want to be able to accomplish training for legs, training for chest, training for triceps, biceps, back, shoulders. And all that all right i don't separate this example for smaller muscles because obviously there's so many muscles i don't want to count them you know of course the calf is a part of leg but i don't want to like separate and take your and my time all right so i want to include each workout for each uh muscle group okay but i don't care what type of training i will use this or other split okay so let's say type of training depends on recovery. I'll explain. Ugh. So this is the beauty of it, okay? So depends on recovery. And that's why each new split, simply to be said, weak in this case, you see new adjustments for workout. Why is it so? All right, I'll tell you. So, what matters is peak performance each workout. I want to add word fucking, but like each fucking workout. All right, so peak performance. What does it need for that? Recovery. So, of course. I'm not going to touch the nutritional aspects of recovery, the sleep, the central nervous system, but of course it matters in workout, but we are not discussing it right now. We're discussing just workout. Okay. So what does it mean? So example that I gave you, no pushing movements at the same time, no pulling. Okay. Not in a row, but instead of three days, how we have five days here. So we have to adjust. All right. So how do I adjust? All right. Every single, every, every, before every single split, before every single new week, I uh, identify the priority of the split. That includes workout, muscle, and workout style all right how let's say for example my next week's goal let's say is gonna be the priority of the split will be heavy dips so that's why it's gonna go as a priority all right next workout maybe next split maybe i'll want to do two cardiovascular leg workouts so priority goes to cardiovascular leg workouts then maybe next next split it's pull-ups you know so priority goes to pull-ups and that's why i start off fresh after two days of rest with a priority muscle that i want to get not always it's the weakest side of mine which is pull-ups which i should do more but a lot of times it's chest and all that because i'm just like you know i want to have fun you know 
So, but anyways, so priority. So number two, go around it. So that means uh, next next workout after it can uh, cannot comp uh, not uh, not contain the pushing movements too, but it can contain. It can contain pulling movements, it can contain legs. Yes, that's too simple. What I'm trying to say, in my case, so sometimes I can do two workouts each day, but if I adjust the intensity right, let's say I can do kettlebell presses with some swings, a little bit of kettlebell pushing work, and then the next day I'll do push-ups, but they will not conflict in with each other in my case because one workout is heavy and a little bit of pressure on muscle then the other workout is body weight lighter and that's why they get they combine I combine them together in a row and they go go well together so basically here maybe in, in, ooh sorry I'm <laughs> round up anyways so so let's say Monday is gonna be let me do this I'll just show you an example on each day separately. So Monday, sorry, Sunday, heavy chest as basement, okay? So then Monday, what do I plan to do after heavy chest? I plan to do combination of kettlebells, legs, and shoulders. So I put, I put kettlebells, legs, shoulders all right so here two heavy workouts in a row okay what would I do on Tuesday so third workout so I will give my pushing movements rest and legs of course and I'll focus on pulling movements here only pulling movements okay on Tuesday because I let this rest so what do I have on Wednesday what didn't I hit well I didn't hit well shoulders so i can do shoulders here on wednesday shoulders body weight shoulders let's say or parallel is still considered as shoulders but as body weight sorry and then i have a choice on last workout so what can we insert here because the heavy chest was priority and we inserting here heavy chest again heavy chest could be weighted push-ups in a vest and stuff like that. Now, I'll just wanna describe some additional uh, aspects of my training split. So here we have basically separated workout for the next split. Of course, the next split up gonna be different. The next split will be depending on how well, I, how well this split goes and how well I recover from this split to build the next one. You know what I mean? I don't know how I'm going to feel. So maybe I'll be well here and it's good and I'll repeat it. Doesn't matter. So it all depends. That's why you see always new stuff coming up from me. I share that with you because it benefits all of us. So here in heavy chest, what can be included? So kettlebells and a lot, a lot of stuff. When I do kettlebell swings, they do not tire the particular muscle so much as a muscle exercise they're more like functional exercises you get amazing cardiovascular development you get functionality strength grip strength everything so that's why stuff like kettlebells i play around i insert them here here core exercises as well i can insert them pack them for each workout differently because <clears throat> instead of standing and waiting i work on the other muscles you know same thing as uh, let's say if i want to insert some cardiovascular workout here i can simply instead of putting uh, shoulders and kettlebell legs here i can put just cardiovascular legs and do kettlebell shoulders here you know there's always way to to manipulate with that all right and then of course i can stretch my split from seven days to like two weeks and then play with that you know the idea is that what matters is consistency you just you don't want to plan too much ahead you want to have a vision but you don't want to plan too much ahead because you can't predict you know 
look at this like thing what's happening in the world you know people people's life changed and same thing if that stuff can happen in the world imagine how easy for your schedule to be messed up especially if you have other important priorities in life such as family and stuff all right guys i hope this type of explanation helped you you know i wish you the best and if you have any questions you know where i am all right god bless you see you soon